Starting on January 13th, 2020, there is a new method to register for the Part 107 exam. Now you do not have to enter your 17-digit exam ID after you take the test. Instead, you have to get an FAA tracking number before you take the test and register to take your exam using that FAA tracking number, also called an FTN number. So the first website we have to go to is IACRA. Dot FAA dot gov, and that's where we're going to get our FAA tracking number. So let's go ahead and register here. We're going to sign up as an applicant. We'll agree to the terms of service. We don't have our airmen's airmen certificate number yet, so we're just going to go ahead and fill in this information below. Now we have our FAA tracking number. You can see here your FTN number. The next thing we're going to do is go to faa.psiexams.com and we're going to go ahead and create an account here as well. This is where we're going to register for the Part 107 exam. So we'll enter our FTN number and then our first name and our last name and we'll be able to register for the Part 107 exam. After you've signed up, verified your email, and filled in that registration information, now we can select an exam. For the Part 107 exam, we're going to go all the way down here and select Unmanned Aircraft General Small. If this is the first time you're taking the Part 107 exam, just enter a 1 here. And we do not need to have a signed score report for this exam. Once the results have loaded, we can see all of the results within a 50 mile range for the date range that we've selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this date at this location, and then you just scroll down to the bottom and click schedule. Now the final thing you have to do is just pay for your exam and that's it. Now you've registered to take your Part 107 test with the FAA.